This is the CoolPad Legacy SR. Looks like this. Medium-sized phone, curved back. Has the Telltale CoolPad line with the speaker at the bottom. Let's learn how to take the back off in case we need to change the battery, add an SD card, or change the SIM chip. All right. We're going to start by looking in the bottom right corner of the phone. And you should be able to see... If my camera will focus on it. That little notch, that little notch should be able to help you get your phone open. So most people like to stick their thumbnail right into that and just pry that open and should be able to get that and then open it the rest of the way. Okay, another way if your thumbnail it makes it hurt or your thumbnail is too long or too short, you can flip the phone away from you, keeping in mind that the slot is right here, and then use these fingernails and get one right in that slot and pop that open this way. Okay? If, uh, again, if that hurts, it doesn't work, I would grab a pen. A Sharpie like this with a rounded edge doesn't work as good as one with a straight 90 degree angle. And again, here's the bottom right corner where that little tiny slot is. I'm gonna turn it upside down like this. I'm gonna hold the phone farther than halfway so the plastic case can bend and flex. I'm gonna put the pen right in that slot and then push and that should get it for you you can get it the rest of the way by pushing the pen on the edge okay and I'm gonna go over one way not to do it don't grab a screwdriver or a knife two reasons first reason is that the back cover is plastic I don't want you to push so hard that it breaks and also I don't want you to push so hard that you slip and then you accidentally jab yourself in the hand with a knife or a screwdriver so be safe all right, now that we've got the back off, let's look at the insides and see all the things that we can do inside CoolPad Legacy SR. All right, so one thing about the CoolPad, and it's even it's not that old of a phone, uh, they make it so you can change the battery. So if your battery stops uh, being in, holding a charge for a long time, or if it's starting to get puffy and old, then uh, CoolPad allows you to change the battery very simply. All right, let's look at changing up our SIM chips. So if you're changing carriers, SIM chips easy to identify here, and they make it, some people can just put their fingernail right into that little tiny bit of a, of a spot right there, and then with the moisture of your thumbprint or fingerprint, usually be able to struggle to get that old SIM chip out. And is it coming? It's, it's out for me. All right. So when you go to replace your SIM chip, let's say you're changing carriers and you have a new SIM chip, the most important thing to remember is that little symbol right there. Let me see if I can get it. And it shows that the SIM card notch is at the top right. So we want to match up our SIM card notch with their SIM card notch. If you see metal, that's wrong. This way is correct. And it just goes easily into that notch. Now let's say that again your fingernails are too short and you can't get it this way. The best tool that I can suggest is a big sewing needle. If you use a big sewing needle you very gently force that out, push it push it this way to come out and it comes out. Be careful not to poke it into the electronics underneath the SIM chip and then you can poke down on the plastic of the SIM card and that point of the sewing needle will help get some purchase on there and you can push it out the rest of the way and remove your SIM chip. The SD card is a little easier. It's up here in the upper right. And again, it provides a little bit of a graphic imprinted in the plastic to know what shape or what direction to put that in. Put your SD card in. So we want to match shapes. I like that. It has the notch on the upper, right, upper side. Also on this instance, if you see metal, you're wrong. It goes this way. So it lays down right in that little space, and then it pops in, and that's it. You're done installing your SD card. And then the SD card is a little easier than the SIM chip because it has that, that little black line that you can see there. There's actually a little lip on the SD card, and you'll be able to remove it that easily. All right, and once you're done with everything on the inside, you want to get your back cover. You want to line up the camera slot with the camera, and then you want to gently, it should go easily, Right around, go twice to make sure that it's all the way closed up because if you don't get it all the way closed up, your buttons might not work. All right, and that is how you take the back cover off your CoolPad Legacy SR in case you need to change the battery 
add an SD card, or change the SIM chip. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.